Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to find an equation of a line that goes to the point 5,2 and that line has to cut off the least amount of area from the first quadrant. And this is the usual Calc 1 minimum maximum equation. And if you haven't done so already, be sure you pause the video right now and try to solve this question first before you watch the solution, all right? Okay, I hope you guys have done so. And now let's take a look uh, how we can solve this. First of all, let me draw a picture to illustrate the situation. We want to have the first quadrant only, so let's go ahead and put down the picture right here. And keep in mind, our picture, they don't have to be perfect, they just have to make sense, right? And right here, we also have to have the point, phi comma two, so let me put it down right here. And we also have to know what we are looking for. We are trying to get an equation of a line. The line has to pass through this point as, well, of course, right? And now let's see, what happens if you, I just draw a line like this, right? A line that goes through this point and then we have this area to be considered. And our goal is to make sure that the line that we draw is actually having the smallest area right here. But you know, sometimes if you draw a line differently, maybe if you draw the line this way, it also goes through this point, but I don't know which area is bigger, right? And this is the usual strategy. We are just going to work with a picture and then label everything with variables and then try to come up with an equation and then try to minimize or maximize the function. And in this case, we are looking for the minimum. So that's the usual way though to uh, solve an optimization question. So anyway, let's go ahead and continue. This is a line. Of course, we can write it down as y equals to mx plus b. Right, equation of a line in the slope intercept form and we are trying to get the area so it's this right here right the area from the first quadrant and the line and let's see how do we find the area of a triangle well let's put that down and i'll write down everything words first area of a triangle is of course one half base times height and now let's come back to our picture to see if we can come up with an equation for that or not. Well, as we all know, this right here will be the base. Right? This right here will be the base, and this right here will be the height. But I wanted to know how long this is. Look at this right here, it's a line, and this right here is a line and where the y-axis cross each other. So this is pretty much our y-intercept. So let me just indicate that for you guys, the y-intercept. And we are actually pretty lucky because if you use this form of the equation of the line, we will know that b is exactly the y-intercept. So this right here is b. So that means from here to here, this distance is b. And this is why I didn't write down b for the base earlier <laughs> because b is the y-intercept right here. We are going to use that. Okay, now... Let's see, how can we find the base of this triangle though? Well, similar reason, you see this is a line and that crosses the x-axis right here. And this has to be the x-intercept. And how do we find the x-intercept? Well, this is a situation when y is equal to zero. So let's go ahead and do that first. So put zero right here for the y. And then this is equal to mx plus b. And then we can just move the b to the other side. We have negative b is equal to mx. And then we can divide by m on both sides. So we are saying x is equal to negative b over m. I divided by the m on both sides. And then I put on the x right here first. So this right here is pretty much the distance from here to here. And that will be the base of our triangle. So I'll put that down right here, negative b over m. And now we can come back to our equation right here. And remember, we want to have the minimum of this, right? So let's see, I will just indicate that for you guys. We want the minimum right here. We want the minimum because it says the least area. So we want the minimum of this function. And let's see, area now is one half. The base, based on our picture is negative b over m. And then the height is just b. So we have this right here. 
and we can do some algebra real quick. On the top is 1 times negative b times b, so it's negative b squared over, on the bottom is just 2 times m, so it's 2m. So this is okay, this is the area function, but this is not okay because it has the variable b and the m, so that's not that good. And now if we come back right here, we have this point, 5 comma 2, and of course we know that the 5 is the x value, and then the 2 is the y value, and remember the equation is y is equal to max plus b. So if I can just plug in 5 into x and then 2 into y, then we'll be able to write an equation with m and b, and then we can solve for b, and then we can reduce the b in this equation right here. So let's do that. Put the 2 right here for the y, and that will be equal to, and we still don't know. So let's put that down, and then the x right here is 5, and then we add the b at the end. So this is the connection of the m and the b. And of course, that's solve for b, because b is on the numerator, it's easier to do the derivative later on. Anyway, right here you see that we pretty much can just minus 5m on both sides, and let me write down the b right here first, and we have the 2, and then minus the 5m, so let's put that down. And then I can just put this right here into this b, and then we can have a happier equation, because the equation will be just in terms of m. Anyway, here is the negative, and then let me open the parentheses, b is this right here, 2 minus 5m, and then we square that, and then on the bottom we have the 2m, and now we can just do my algebra, on the top we still have this negative, and let's multiply this out, and you can just square the first term which is 4, and then do 2 times the first term and then the second term, and this is minus. So 2 times 2 is 4 times 5m, altogether is 20m. And lastly, you add this term square, so you add 5m square is 25m square. And then on the denominator, you still have this over 2m. And then we can just distribute the negative inside all the stuff. And then in the meantime, we are also going to split the fraction. So let's see, negative 4 over 2m is negative 2 over m, right? Negative 4 over 2m. Next, negative negative becomes plus, and then 20m over 2m is just 10. The m's cancel out. Lastly, negative 25 m squared over 2, so I'll just put down 25 over 2, because the numbers, we cannot reduce that, but m squared over m is just m. And you see, this right here is a nice function, because we just have m now for the area of this triangle. And remember, we want to minimize this function, so now let me write it down as a of m. We are going to take the derivative, so let me put the m, to the top, so we will have negative 2 m to the negative 1, and then plus 10, and then minus 25 over 2 m like this. And now we are ready for the derivative, so we just do a prime of m, and remember right here, we are going to just use the power rule, we can bring the power to the front, minus 1. So for the first term, we are going to get negative 2 times negative 1, which is positive 2, and the m. Negative 1 minus 1 is negative 2. Aha. Next, the derivative 10 is what? It's just nicely equal to 0. And lastly, the derivative of negative 25 over 2m, this is just m to the first power, so it's a linear term, so you are just going to get this right here, namely, minus 25 over 2. And this right here is the derivative, and in order to find the minimum, we are going to first set the derivative equal to 0, so that we can find the critical values, and you can solve this whichever way that you would like. Let me just move this number to the other side, and let me write it down as 2 over, and this is m squared in the denominator, and then this is equal to 25 over 2. I moved this to the other side already. And now I can just multiply m squared on both sides, and I can divide this on both sides, or whichever way that you would like. Or maybe if you 
can just cross multiply. That's also a good method too, I say. But yeah, just do this. Anyway, two times two is four equals to this times that, which is 25 m square. And then divide both sides by the 25, we get m square equals to four over 25. And then you take the square root on both sides. And don't forget to put a plus minus. And then we see that m is either equal to positive 2 over 5 or negative 2 over 5. Okay, now, which m value are we actually going to use? Or are we going to take both? Well, look back to the picture. Notice that this line has negative slope, and m is the slope. So, of course, we are going to get rid of the positive slope right here. So, m is equal to negative 2 over 5. And once we have m is equal to negative 2 over 5, we should verify that this right here is indeed the minimum. And we can do so by using the second derivative test. And let me just erase this part right here so I have more space for you guys. So now we'll just be doing the second derivative test. You can also do the first derivative test if you would like. But I think the second derivative test is easier in this case. Anyway, we'll proceed. We will just have to differentiate this again so we can get a double prime of m. Well, in this case, you see that we can just bring the power to the front again. And this is going to give us negative 4. And then don't forget the minus 1 from the exponent. So we get m to the negative 3. And the derivative of negative 25 over 2 is just 0. So this is the second derivative. And of course, we can just plug in this value into here. So we have a double prime of m, which is negative 2 over 5. And this is going to give us negative 4 times m, which is this, which is the negative 2 over 5 to the negative 3 power. And you can just work this out. And let me tell you, we are going to get a positive second derivative. So what this means is that when the first derivative zero, that means we have like a flat horizontal tangent line like this. And then because you have a positive second derivative, meaning that you are going to have a concave up situation. So you can conclude that you are going to get a minimum right here, right? And depending on the instruction or your teacher to see how much work that you have to write down, but I think this is enough. So we verified that this is going to give us the minimum, namely the smallest area right here. And from this, we can just find the b value. So let's go ahead and do that. So let me just finish this up right here real quick. b is equal to 2 minus 5. m is just this, negative 2 over 5. And then you can just multiply this out real quick. This is 2 negative times negative plus 5, 5 cancel, so it's 2 plus 2. So that's 4. So finally, m is this. B is that our answer, namely the equation that we're looking for, is just y equals to negative 2 over 5x. Remember, this is the m, and then we have to have the x. And then plus b, which is the 4. And this right here is it. Right? Hopefully you guys find this video to be helpful. And if you guys are new to my channel, please subscribe. I make videos with math for fun and also math lessons for you guys. And as always, that's it.